Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Released in 2018 and 40.5 millimeters in rose gold, this is the Blancpain Villeray Grand Dot Jour Retrograde. It is a timepiece that includes both a day and a big date. And it has a brilliant setting system developed by Blancpain watchmakers. Let's take a look at the case. This is the Villaray design. It's classically dressy, and this watch is a wonderful alternative to the usual suspects from the Holy Trinity and Alanga. 40.5 millimeters in diameter, it's 11.2 millimeters thick, and from lug to lug, 45.1 millimeters, with a broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, and you can see it wears well. It's also thin enough to fit underneath the cuff, and that's aided by the slope of the double gadroon bezel. I could recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference because you could see on a 16 centimeter wrist just how much space I have on each side of the lugs. It's nowhere near overlapping the edge of my wrist. Strap is high grade, large rectangular scale alligator leather. It's medium brown. It's a semi-gloss finish. It's got a lot of bolstering to give it thickness. A monotone stitch and then a sheer cut side with calfskin on the bottom. And you could see this is a Blanc Pen factory strap in brand new condition. We have a double folding clasp. You'll appreciate this combination of rose gold and a titanium leaf spring. It makes for a snappy closure and it stays shut when you want it shut and it pops open and gives you a little bit of assist when you want it open. You can see that there's a logo inside each swing arm and then we have a lovely classically elegant pin buckle on the end. But it is a deployant clasp and you can see how it traces the arc of the underside of your wrist. Good deployant clasps should be shaped to match your body. This is a simple case but one that's distinctive of Blancpain. The lugs break out dramatically from the case band with a sharp cleft break between the rounded polished case plank and then the teardrop profile of the slab sided lugs. They're a little bit thinner when viewed from the end. You can see they slope off. There's some tumble home. They slope to the side even as they curl down to their end. We have a branded logo crown. Relatively narrow in dress watch fashion with a sharp knurling that makes it easy to grip. And then we have a double gadroon that is double domed bezel, giving way to a soft opaline white dial with applique Roman numerals, including a watchmaker's four. They are all rose gold. The hands at center are skeletonized leaf hands with the exception of the counterweighted Lancet style second sand. Then we have a little cut for the day and double cut for the double date. It is a grand dot, a big date, and you have a quick set. I'll show you how that works. There's a lovely serif intensive typeface used for those numerals. And then we have a hidden pusher underneath the lug, so there are no dimples to mar the case flank and you don't need a tool. You simply push this little trigger to set the retrograde system. It's both entertaining and easy and it's smart. It will lock out the quick set system It'll lock out this little pusher adjuster during the nighttime danger zone when you would otherwise damage the watch by trying to quick set the day. So you have a day and you have a date. One feature you don't have, because this is based on the 1150 Frederic Piquet, you don't have hacking seconds. That's, that's the only shortfall here. Everything else is quite impressive, including the finishing of the movement. There's a gorgeous engine-turned scalloping of the rotor. And then we have two barrels. We have a 72-hour power reserve. This movement is adjusted in six positions, one more than the chronometer standard of five. It pivots on 40 joules. We have a free-sprung balance for better durability and more precise adjustment with a recessed bolt balance. And we have an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. I love these Blancpain bevels. They're started mechanically. Assuredly, they're started mechanically. But they wind up so glossy, gleaming, and rounded that they look indistinguishable from full hand-finished bevels. They are finished by hand. That's how they get that effect. And they're some of the best in the mainstream luxury business. Screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. And we have lovely broad Cote de Genève stripes. There's also some engine turning on the base plate and then satination of the barrels as well as the wheels of the reduction system for the winder, but also the drivetrain. It's a good looking watch and it's 30 meters water resistant. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.